Holy crap, boys. Today is my first day home on my vacation. And let me tell you, I got home yesterday at around 3.30ish. All I've been doing is keeping this thing happy so she doesn't puke everywhere. But like, listen to her. She's freaking mad. She's so fluffy. <laughs> I tried to get her to come into the room, but she won't. Probably because she knows she can't get into the closet since I 3D printed that thing. Not sure what to do with my time off. Uh, weather doesn't look too sharp out there today. I'm supposed to piss later on. Probably when I'm driving down to go to martial arts tonight. Uh, Joss is supposed to swing by because she wants to grab. You guys remember a long time ago when I got this watch? I wanted to see how well the heart meter was. Like how well it actually pulled the pulse. So I bought this thing for like 15, 20 20 bucks off of Amazon. It's one of those you clip it on your finger, press the power button, and it tells you your heart rate and your oxygen level and all that. And they use them in the hospital, but theirs are probably not $15, $20. Theirs are probably a lot more expensive and a lot more effective. Well, she wants to pick it up because uh, she's been having some shortness of breath issues. So I figured, you know what? I got one. I thought I was, I thought I loaned it out to another friend a while ago, but uh, turns out uh, I didn't. Turns out the cat did puke, frig sakes. So, uh, cleans it up there. Nothing a little Dawn dish. So open some tiger towels can't fix so yeah i got martial arts today and then i didn't even realize that i took this week off right and then next week i go to work monday to friday and then the week after is another four day weekend because we have canadian thanksgiving on october 11th and yeah that's a thing but anyway Oh, there's a truck, a delivery truck here. I did, uh, the tire's fixed. It held air the whole time, so we're good there. I did that last Saturday. Oh, okay, do I, have an, do I have a parcel? No, okay. I guess while I was gone, um, I got some mail here in the house. Got my hydro bill, got my gas bill. I'll pay both of those later on. Not a big deal, but um, obviously I didn't, you know, snap myself down there. That was just some editing magic because I didn't want to film the trip, but I did film the drive down. <laughs> and uh, so I got off work Thursday at 4 p.m., ducked out, jumped in the truck, bombed down there. Uh, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> Going down at four o'clock, I haven't driven the 401 and the 400 in a long freaking time. How bad is this grass? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty bad. But with this overhead and it's probably wet. Yeah, it's wet. Tomorrow's supposed to be nice. I'm supposed to go fishing tomorrow, but if that ends up being kiboshed, I'll bang this out. If not, I'll do it on Thursday. Um, but back on my story of the 400, um, I've, I haven't driven that during busy time in a long time. Now I left North Bay at four and I was on the 401 by about, I wanna say seven. I got I got the blokes at about nine. The 400 was pretty bad. People were getting into accidents. There was nonstop. People pulled over to the side of the road and tow trucks and cops. And let me tell you one cool thing about Google, like people who are like, how come you didn't get the truck with the GPS and all that? Because I'd rather use my phone. Uh, Google Maps has this nice feature built in where like with emergency services, I don't know how it is in the US, but in Canada anyway, when emergency services are pulled over to the side of the road with a car they put a blip on google maps and as you're approaching it it'll it'll dim your music and be like there's a collision up ahead police services are on on spot please shift lanes and it'll tell you to move over a lane to give them space that is amazing it was but it was doing it way too often that it was cutting out my music because people drive like assholes like i had a situation where i'm on the 401 i tried to find it because i did time lapse the, the drive being time lapsed you know how that works right it only captures one of every one frame every 30 seconds or so because like the drive took me five uh five and a half hours this time and when i uh got the video back and i looked it over it was only 12 minutes so it literally takes like one still every 30 seconds and then clips it all together and goes that's that hyperlapse or gopro really cool feature you know speeds up my editing because then i don't have to like accelerate the video and then do all the annoying editing on it because if you take a five hour video and you bring it into vegas or any editing suite and you go to render it in hyperlapse like you bring it down it still takes about three hours for it to to render it out. What I used to do back in the day was I would render the video and then start my project and just bring the rendered video in so it didn't take so long to finally master it. I would do all my uh, time-lapse footage in advance and then do my final cut later, but yeah, real pain in the ass. Anyway, there was a situation on the 401 where like, it was like, I'm driving in my truck. There was a car maybe about a, w a length of the Trans Am in front of me and some, and two guys, one guy in a red Mazda 
and a white uh, Elantra literally came in and just cut they cut me off like I saw him coming in and he wasn't gonna make it so I got on the brakes and I slowed her down to give him room because I'm a defensive driver I'm not an aggressive driver anybody who's driven with me hates that about me because they're like oh man you drive so you drive so defensively you drive like a grandpa yeah well I've only ever had one real good citation and I fought it in court and won and that's when I got the uh the moving infraction and the reason why I won because of this thing well not this thing whatever I was filming with at the time because I was filming the drive back from blokes and the cop tried to say I didn't give him enough room. He had a guy pulled over on the side of the road and he was trying to say I didn't give him enough room. The video clearly showed that I was over a lot. There was no way he was in danger. So I brought the footage to court. I showed them and they just threw the ticket out because I had all the evidence. I even got them to fund my trip. So that was kind of cool. Now, nowadays it's like if you get an infraction, you uh, I had a buddy who got a traffic infraction. He just went and did a Zoom call with the courts and presented everything. So you don't even have to go anywhere anymore so uh, it's all online but anyway that was the only infraction i ever got never got speeding tickets got a couple parking tickets but that's because at work before i started paying for parking um i was parking on the side of the road at the meters and you know they say you get two hours and sometimes you go two hours and five minutes and the meter maid's just waiting there for the clock to run down so they can cut you a ticket but parking tickets are parking tickets who cares as long as you pay them you can renew your license come that time not a big deal i've never had a speeding ticket I've never been pinched for speeding because I always do the limit. If I go over, it's not by much. I drive defensively because there's way too many aggressive drivers on the road that drive aggressively. And I like my truck. I like my car. I like them to look this way. I don't want them to look like dented pop cans. I don't want them destroyed. I want to keep this thing until our government tells us you can't drive dinosaur anymore. You got to go electric. And then I'm forced to trade it in for something that runs on voltage versus dead dinosaur juice you know I, I love this thing this is my I, this is my best purchase i ever made is my ford f-150 i love this thing and i do not want it to get wrecked so drive defensively keep your head on a swivel pay attention to your surroundings at all times somebody's driving like an asshole or if you're following somebody like because this happened to where when i was coming back uh, yesterday i'm following this cube van and I'm watching them just veer off the road. And you know how on the side of highways, maybe you have this in the US, but we have them up here in Canada. It's like riveted, not riveted. Uh, it's like rippled. And when you hit that strip, it makes an atrocious sound on your tires. It's like, bah! like it, so it wakes you up. Like if you're falling asleep at the wheel and you kind of drift off the road and you hit that, that noise is going to wake you up. Uh, I think they call them wake up strips, anti-sleep strips. I don't know. Yeah, I'm watching this guy and he's like lane splitting, hitting that thing, just driving like a complete nutter and i backed off a good 40 feet because i'm like if this guy gets into an accident i need braking because depending on how he gets hit it could be a bad time for me so i thought i recorded the drive home but it turns out i set the gopro up and i didn't hit the button on top so whoops but i get home and i go and turn the gopro off and i'm i got the truck sitting here and the gopro's in the window and i'm literally filming this wall oh good times good times but yeah yeah it was um definitely uh it was it was a good trip i had a great time um friend of mine crusty whatever the frig numbers are at the end he's gonna comment and be like these are the numbers why can't you remember them and it's like because i don't remember things i'm freaking old leave me alone uh he's the one who mentioned last time he's like take some time off and go down now here's the problem like bloke works for himself he doesn't work for a company he doesn't have a boss he is his boss he does handyman work he does uh <sighs> Uh, what do you call it uh this kind of work he does like landscaping work that's the word landscaping he does everything anything that involves physical labor he'll get out there and get her done and you can probably see scampers in the window she's like why are you outside not in here because you know how hard it is to film around a needy cat holy non-stop meows so anyway he does crazy work like yesterday we get up at around seven in the morning have a cup of tea a cup of coffee whatever and sit and chat but we're literally sitting there having coffee and tea at his table when all of a sudden his phone blows up. By that I mean it rang. He gets a call from one of the uh, condo organizations he works for and they're like, hey, we got this going on. Can you come and look at it? And he's like, yeah, sure. So he told me, he's like, listen, the best time for you to leave is at 10 to noon. He's like, you'll be if you leave at 10, you'll be able to clear the 401 and the 400 before the lunch hour rush. That's what he does when he goes and visits his sister. He'll leave it around 10. That way there he can get there without having to deal with bumper to bumper because holy crap, is that ever annoying? And then um, that's what I did. I left his place at 10 and it took me five hours to get home. So I got home at around three and it was a good, it was a good drive back. I was able to hold speed, no bumper to bumper. It was perfect. But I think going down early in the morning is my best bet just because 
then I don't have to really fuss. And I think what I'm gonna do next year, when we start going back down, is I'm gonna take the Friday and Monday off, like I did this year. Well, this year I just went down on long weekends, but I'm gonna take the Monday off, and that way there, uh, I can leave early Friday morning, get down there, we can fish Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Probably won't do super long videos, like I didn't expect this one to be two hours long, and I'm sorry for anybody who uh, do not like long form factor videos, because uh, that's a bit of a lot. But, you know, if you made it through it, I, I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. It took a while to edit. I just finally finished editing now, and it is currently... Well, I finished at 1 and uh, uploaded it. It's 2 o'clock now. So I got the video uploaded at 1, and that took an hour to push because it's like 28 gigs. My objective was to get this thing out as soon as possible because like Bloat said, he's like, you know, waiting two weeks to watch it, it's kind of rough, kind of rough. And I'm like, yeah, I know, I know. That's why I purposely set it up where... I made video content around this video content, but yeah, like bloke, he can go a day where there's no work to be done. And then he can go a day where he clears like two grand in work because he's his own boss. And he probably saw the name of his, his, his personal company right on the back of his shirt. I was meant, somebody mentioned before like, oh, look at that bloke doxed himself. Look at the back of his shirt. And I'm thinking, I, I even commented, I'm like, dude, bloke doxed himself on his own video long time ago. You know, uh, when I first got into YouTubing, I saw that Dave was getting stuff in the mail from fans. And I'm like, I wonder if fans would ship me stuff. So I went and I got a PO box instead of giving my address away. Some people have my address because you know, they're friends I made through YouTube that I've actually physically hung out with in real life so they know my address but I had a P.O. box and people were sending me stuff and then bloke saw that so bloke said well I'm not gonna get a P.O. box and he just dumped his his home address right on his YouTube channel with like 34,000 subscribers and uh he doxed himself a long ass time ago the video is probably still up where you can send him stuff and people used to send him because he was big into sunglasses back then people used to ship him all sorts of goofy sunglasses like ones with like revolvers for the eyeball pieces where like the trigger uh the trigger ring the trigger safety that was the um where you look through and stuff and beer glasses ones where it's like they're green and they look like mugs of beer and ones with diamonds studded in them and aviators all sorts of different whacked out glasses and he used to wear them on different videos he'd just go into his box of glasses grab a random set and put them on and start his video up hello tubas it's a crazy british bloke here and yeah he used to have a good time doing that now like he said to me he's like like he's seen the struggle i was going through down there with the gopro malfunctioning and different things happening and stuff and then to come back here and spend 12 hours cutting it all up into something that's somewhat watchable he doesn't know if he even has the time to do that and for what like you make five bucks off the video maybe so if you're looking at it from a money aspect point of view, I do it because I love doing it. I have fun doing this. And what really re-sparked my fun for doing this was that time I worked in the movies. The one time I got to work in the movies, watching these guys produce a product, watching how they do it, watching their strat and figuring it out and seeing exactly how the script becomes a full feature, how the cameraman operates the camera and all that. Once I saw how that worked, I was like, you know, this is what I used to do. Why did I stop doing it? It's because I got super depressed because I was dumb and I was messing, out, messing around with relationships. I'm not saying relationships are bad, I'm just saying the ones I get into are. Once I cleared my head and realized that uh, dad's right, I'm 45 years old and I'm single, you know, I own a house, I own a truck, I own a car, I own a boat, got a bunch of shit in there, got a bunch of shit in there. I'm pretty much set up. I got a great job, pays the bills, gives me money to buy stupid things I don't need. And life is essentially great for me. You know, I don't need to be in a relationship. This old standard of back in the day of a wife, two kids, a house with a picket fence and that, that's a standard that's long gone, you know? You don't need to be in a relationship to be successful. To be successful, you just have to be happy. And it took me a bit to realize that my happiest times was when I was single because I had the freedom to do what I want. You know, right now I can just like going to this martial arts thing. If I had Oreo still, I couldn't do that. If I was in a relationship, I'm pretty sure there'd be a fight on site. She'd be like, well, what am I supposed to do that weekend? Because honestly that happened when I was always my most stressed and always my most depressed was when I was in a relationship. Like when I was with my ex way back in the day, she wanted me to quit YouTube so bad. When I lost monetization on the Skaven channel, her first comments were excitedly, are you gonna quit YouTube finally? Meanwhile, the reason why I got into YouTube in the first place 
like it was like I didn't know what to do on there and then my buddy Troy sent me David's Farms videos and I started watching this and I'm like well that's pretty sweet but I can't do that I don't have that kind of property I don't have those skill sets to build these whacked out cars and then I started watching Rickham and Rickham was also doing mechanical things he was working on that speed x tractor or doing random repair vids on people's cars like oh I got this Volkswagen Golf here and it needs a new whatever and he would put it in and I couldn't do that and then I come across crazy British bloke and he's just making videos about his life and i'm like well okay this guy i can i can do this and he's getting good views on it so obviously there's a market for this like people want to see this kind of stuff so with the skaven channel i started off to doing diy camera mounts and building random stupid things and having a good time to deciding later on when i came across other youtubers like shay carl and ctfxc and all these old vloggers where they just wake up in the morning turn the camera on and start going throughout their day and then post that every day a daily video of what they got up to that's when i started the vlog and life channel started making vlog but that got pretty tedious that got pretty hectic pretty crazy with all the uh every day get up film shut it down at eight edit till midnight go to bed wake up rinse and repeat you know i did it for like almost 2500 days straight to the point where it was like holy okay this is getting a little bit too much and it was getting repetitive every day was the same damn thing can't be doing that i like my current schedule of three three videos a week it gives me time for me keep things personal or keep things where i can still do stuff like i don't know if i'm going to be able to film at this martial arts thing i might ask i might see if craig will let me it's his it's his dojo his his uh studio whatever we call it in our niece it's not a dojo that's karate i don't even know what the heck it's called and in our niece i think it's just studio but if he says no i can't have you filming in here for reasons then so be it because i do have a song that sora made about our niece that i would love to make a music video for because i do plan on making a music video for another song that she made called the swamp donkey quest and i sent it to bloke and bloke's like mate you've got to do something with that you got to make a music video so i'm going to try and do that maybe get it out by saturday which this video is going up on friday so uh, i'll see what i can do i got time but anyway guys i'm gonna shut her down here it was a good trip down had a blast we didn't catch much everything we caught was like micro dinks because i don't know where the big guys are i know people are catching them we sure as hell weren't i don't know if it was my lure selection the method i was fishing like i say i don't claim to be an expert angler i only started fishing in 2020 i'm learning techniques figuring things out but i ain't no pro yet and hopefully next year bloke said he's pretty up there on the uh the list london has a fishing club if he gets into that fishing club they have the ponds that we're looking for to fish so we might be able to really have some fun out there as well as other locations but if he gets onto that fishing club next year this could be friggin' fantastic we could have a real riot of a time but like i say i won't be going down to london now until next year uh maybe in the spring we'll go down i'll bring the carp rod and we'll sail some shots out try and get on some carp some big old dirty swamp donkeys and uh go from there but anyway guys thanks for watching it's a good trip home safe got to figure out what to do with the rest of my time off probably gonna make some videos about stuff i got some things to do around the house more cameras to install all that fun things especially seeing how the uh delivery dicks are so dumb i got a sign on my front door that says literally use side door for deliveries yet they leave packages there i'm probably going to be installing a camera on the front of the house aimed at the door just to make sure that when they do that i can see the package there and if somebody comes by and porch bandits me i can get their face to submit to the cops so anyway thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed today's video if you did click that like button any questions comments concerns down below they go and until next time guys live it to win it peace break out Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.